you guys. All right. New Yorkers are heading to Brooklyn to uh, learn to survive in the wilderness or just about anywhere. In a most unlikely environment, students learn skills that can save their lives. CBS 2's Christine Johnson shows us city survival. A chain link fence topped with barbed wire. I thought I had the wrong address. Underneath the Pulaski Bridge. You wouldn't expect anything like this to be in Brooklyn. Is the setting for a class that could save your life. Normally you would take a survival class out in the woods somewhere. But here on the bank of the Newtown Creek, students gather to learn basic survival skills set in an urban environment. By the end of the day, you're going to be able to do this. And so with only basic tools, Jens Rasmussen, an experienced survivalist, teaches some of the skills that can mean the difference between life and death. There's a really deep sense of satisfaction that I see people get from connecting with these, what you might call primitive skills. No matter what you call them, they're the same skills you need to survive in natural or man-made disasters. The focus is also on what Rasmussen calls the most basic skill of all, making a fire without matches. The words fire making class kind of uh, sparked the imagination. It's hard to believe that in New York City, people would ever need to know fire making skills. But here, Rasmussen takes his students through the step by step process. There you go. You never forget your first. Tinder is prepped. You know you have a good curl when it has multiple loop-de-loops. And kindling is cut. Instead of foraging for dead trees, <laughs> we, uh, we, have, we forage, uh, you know, dumpsters. A piece of charred cotton cloth will help nurture a spark that will, with some work, ignite a newspaper nest. There you go, you have it, you have flames. <laughs> You never know when knowledge is going to be of handy in any given situation. If you're out and you get stranded and you have to eat, why not start your fire? By the end of class, all the students were able to start a fire without using matches. Classes are about four hours long and cost $100. Christine Johnson, CBS2 News, Sunday morning. All right. Well